Michele here and welcome to another video. Sorry, but today I'm in the car because uh, I was starting filming, but uh, it started to rain. It started to rain, so I, I decided to stay in car. So I hope that this video will be enjoyable as always for you. But uh, after this short presentation, uh, today we are going to uh, do a little trick on the flashing lights on the Renault Megane. Many of you maybe have noticed that when uh, uh, some brands like Audi or Mercedes or uh, uh, BMW or something like that, uh, when they turn on the indicator light, uh, the DRL LED, the, the light, uh, uh, will turn off. So maybe when they engage the uh, light, the indicator light, the DRL LED, the LED, uh, turns off. Uh, in the Renault Megane this is not going to happen and I don't know why but today we're going to make it possible, we're going to make it happen so uh, follow my tutorial, uh, it's very easy, very simple and I hope uh, you will like the, the result. So let's start with the video. Okay, here we are, we can open the DDT for all interface as usual then we have to select uh, Wi-Fi wi -Fi mode, uh, I know that I can out of my car if badly used, blah blah blah, something like that now connect, after that we have to uh, select the car we have as usual, uh, I have the Renault Megane but if you have the Renault Clio, the Renault Capture, the Renault Talisman, the Kajar or whatever, select the Renault Megane 4, Me Megane 4 and Megane 4 Sedan are basically the same. Then we have to go uh, all the way down to the UPC EMM. After that, we have to select this one, USM CMF1 sailing before. Double click again. Then we have to find the, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, lights. Double click, lights configuration. It will take long because, uh, as I said many times, this is a very tough ECU with a lot of parameters parameters so uh, don't worry if your uh, system freezes for a couple of seconds or for three or four seconds no problem because it's still reading a lot of stuff so no problem as we said uh, the other time this is the cornering inhibition if you if you missed the video please go please check it uh, here I, I leave you in the description and up here the, the link and uh, now what we need to do it's this EB DRL inhibit by flusher so it means that um, as usual we uh, we have to think uh, in uh, uh, binary mode so one it means yes zero means no but by doing this we are saying now my is already done as you see but now it means that it's one so it means that DRL is inhibited by flusher one means yes so yes the DRL is inhibited by flusher originally you will have a zero here now I'm not going to uh, make the change again because I don't want to reset my card by the way uh, you have zero okay you simply have to delete this and do one after you did that uh, aim by clicking on the Einstein face and then click send easy as it once you've done that uh, as I suggest as as I as I always said I suggest you to uh, to lock the car and uh, unlock it a couple of or maybe three or four minutes later because you give time to the ECUs to uh, shut down and to start once again so uh, there are no uh, soft reset of the screen or the air link system to do this time but uh, I suggest you to lock the car and wait uh, three or four minutes before unlocking it once again. This procedure was very easy so this video is going to end. Thank you guys very much for, uh, for your support and for your comments and for your like. I, very, I really appreciate them. Uh, help me to grow, to grow up by subscribing and uh, for today is all. Thank you very much and bye!